your actual first preseason game. Uh, were you were you happy to be able to translate uh, some of the things you were doing in practice onto the field? Yeah, um, I think so. It was fun. Um, that's why I was excited about yesterday. Um, it was a lot of guys' first preseason game as well as mine. So just being out there and experiencing it, um, I loved it. And I know the other guys loved it too. I know um, it's a little different for me since it's my second year, so I kind of know how the game goes. But a lot of guys' first year, I could, you can tell it was, they was kind of starstruck. And it's just, it's just, it was great to see the receiver, especially the receivers, and I got to pick off my boy Bryce. You know, it was his first game, so I was really happy, really excited for them. What's it like when you get that, that first catch? Oh, you, know, like uh, you know, it it was great. Um, like I said, even though it's my second year, it was still my first game, my first preseason. So coaches um, was kind of um, picking at me a little bit, but you know, I was excited. I was happy. I wish I could have played more, but. Um, first catch, first number, and the new number in the first preseason game, you know, that's one for the books. So, I know a lot of guys felt that way too. Picking at you how? Ma'am? I said picking at you how? Oh, just making fun, saying that um, even though it's the second year, it's still my first preseason game. And I said, yeah, I know. Um, try not to think too much about it because try to go out there like a regular game. But then again, you know, it's always good to get your first over with. And I was excited that it happened to be at Baltimore. So I noticed that, um, you know, obviously the guys that didn't play at the beginning um, weren't dressed out. I noticed like, you know, after halftime, you came back out not dressed out as well. Like, do you take that as like a sign? Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain my question. Like, do you take that as like a good sign? Like, wow, you know, I'm one of like, the guys that are already out of the game earlier or were you just sitting there thinking, man, I wish I was still playing? Uh, a little bit of both. You know, it's a good feeling knowing yeah. that um, you don't have to go out and finish the game because I know it's a lot of guys out here, a lot of guys being evaluated. Um, so I understand that part. But then again, like I said, you know, first preseason guy, I wish I was been out there a little bit more. But I kind of understand how we was going and what was happening. So I was, really wasn't too upset about it a totally like different question um but i was wondering if you had anyone like growing up that like kind of inspired you or inspired you football wise mm, yeah my parents you know mom and dad was you know every practice you know whether it's football basketball any other sport i want to do so i have to give a big shout out to them and just growing up at different stages in my life you know with middle school it was my um he was my teacher and it turned out to be my high school basketball coach, um, Coach Garmin. And then when I got, then I met a lot of other coaches there that kind of stick with me through my life. Um, coach Martin, Coach Tat, all pretty, um, Coach Wade, all on the basketball side, a few on the football side, and they always well, was there for me. So I always had mad respect, mad love for them. And we're always being there. Um, even though my parents were always there and was with them any way that I needed them to be, if anything else outside of them, then I could always rely on those coaches. So did you think you were going to be a basketball player growing up instead? Like, did you have a, like a sport that you loved the most when you were young? I think everybody, every football player's first dream was basketball. So I, I do love basketball, and I wish um, I would have had a chance to, you know, experience that part of um, sports career. But, you know, I'm happy with the way football ended up.